Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. God bless everybody. God bless you tonight. Amen. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name, God. Amen, everybody. God bless you tonight. All right. I want you guys to come on in. We're going to get started here shortly. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Glory to God. God is good. Amen. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. We give honor to God tonight. Amen. Thank God for his will being done in the earth. We pray his will be done every day that we live. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord tonight. Amen. Hope you come on in, get ready for Bible study. We're going to uh, get started here in just a moment. I'm going to try to give uh, a, a couple minutes for people to get in here so we can get going uh, with our Bible study tonight. Amen. Uh, God is so good to us and we worship him. Uh, we worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. And we give God the glory for truly he is an awesome God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope that everybody um, is having a blessed day. I know this is inauguration day. Amen. And so many people are uh, looking at various things on the TV. Amen. But the word of the Lord does not stop. Amen. Because of that. But I am going to try to keep it as short as I can tonight uh, so that you can get back to whatever it is that you, you know, may, may be wanting to look at. Amen. Uh, so God bless you. God bless you. Um, as you can see, our topic tonight. Oh, I see Cindy. God bless you, Cindy. Good to see you tonight. Uh, let's uh, like and share the broadcast. Make sure everybody knows that we are doing Bible study. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Oh, Karen Bailey. <laughs> God bless you. I uh, Let me add Hilliard to it. Amen. Uh, <laughs> don't want to neglect that. Amen. So God bless you. Um, love everybody. Amen. I absolutely love everyone. And so I pray that, uh, you know, that you will join in with us tonight. We have some uh, things to talk about. Praise the Lord. We have some things to talk about. And if God be with us, we're going to get through this. And again, I'm going to let you go as soon as I can. Uh, only the Holy Ghost will labor us tonight. Amen. And so uh, tonight our topic is pray for the government. Amen. Pray for the government. And um, of course, this topic is coming in the midst of a lot of things that are going on. We've been uh, really talking about the things that are happening uh, in the, our country right now. And so I'm going to continue with that. But we're going to talk about how how we should pray for the government. Amen. And so uh, we're going to use the Bible, of course, we're going to use scriptures. We're going to talk about um, what it is that uh, that the Lord says or that the Bible says, I should say, um, about this particular topic. Amen. And so uh, we're going to get started. I'm going to pray, uh, but be sure that you like and share the broadcast. We want everyone to participate. We want everyone to be a part of what happening, um, what we're talking about tonight. Get your pencil, get your pad, get your Bible, and get ready, amen, for what it is that we're going to be doing, amen. We want uh, everyone to participate and everyone to hear the word of, 
of the Lord and to leave your comments, leave comments, uh, ask questions, um, you know, whatever it is that you think is important. Amen. I certainly want to interact with you. Uh, however, we are going to press forward um, if there aren't any questions uh, or if there aren't any comments, we're, we're going to keep moving. Amen. Um, because we really want to talk about this tonight and get an understanding. Amen. The Bible says in all our getting to get an understanding. Amen. And once we understand, it's a lot easier to follow. Praise the Lord. And so uh, let's pray and then we're going to get started. Dear Heavenly Father, oh God, we just thank you tonight, Lord. We bless you, Father. We honor you, God, and we give your name glory, honor, and praise. Father, we thank you, oh God, for even this very day that you have graced us with, Lord. We thank you, God, that you load us up daily with benefits, Father, and we know that we have benefits in you. Thank you for the salvation, oh Father, that you have uh, embarked upon our lives, Lord God. We thank you, oh Lord God that you have blessed us, Lord, not only from the beginning, hallelujah, but even to the end. God, we thank you that you are the author and finisher of our faith. Father, we thank you, oh God, that you are uh, giving us divine revelation and understanding. Father, open up our eyes of understanding and enlighten us tonight, Lord, and let this word fall on good ground, oh God. Hallelujah, even break up fallow ground. Father, calluses, God, of the heart. Father, things that hinder the word from being planted, hallelujah, and rooted in our hearts, Father, whatever that might be, if it's rocky soil, God, if it's things, hallelujah, that won't allow the word to, uh, to, 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 uh, to penetrate, Father, I pray, God, that you will break those barriers down now. Father, even use me tonight, word my mouth, let it be the word of God, and not my own word, not my own opinion, and not my own flesh, Father, but Lord, let your word go forth tonight. God, we pray, Lord, that you will, uh, uh, that you will, hallelujah, grace us with your presence, Father. Cover us with your blood right now, God. Lord, I bless, I pray that you bless the technology, bless the broadcast, Lord. Let there be no distractions or disturbances or cutoffs or interruptions, Father, even in the neighborhood, even in the Wi-Fi and all of those things. God, we thank you, God, hallelujah, for our opportunity, hallelujah, to come before you, to study your word and to fellowship with one another. And we glorify your name. We honor you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. And so uh, we're going to get started tonight. Amen. Again, the topic is pray for government. Pray for government. Amen. And so I know that everyone would agree that our, uh, let me say our responsibility Amen. Part of our responsibility is to pray for the government. Amen. And so uh, we're going to talk about that tonight. We're going to talk about what it is that we should be doing. Amen. Uh, as a result of that responsibility. Amen. Because we want to make sure that we're doing all that we're supposed to be doing. Amen. As Christians, as believers. Amen. Uh, in this season, uh, since it is such a tumultuous season right now since there's so much going on, amen, it's imperative that we know what our responsibilities are, amen, hallelujah, and so we want to, uh, we want to talk about this tonight, learn about this tonight, amen, again, please like and share the broadcast, I pray that there are people who are watching, amen, God bless you, Gloria, yay, good to see you tonight, amen, God bless you, uh, thank God for Leona, Love to see you. Oh my goodness. Thank you for joining in. And um, I'm praying that uh, my friend Donna will be able to join us. She contacted us earlier. So I hope she's able to get on. If anybody knows her, please, uh, please help her. Amen. I think she's going to try to use the phone to get on Zoom to participate. If not, help her to get on YouTube, help her to get on uh, Facebook or whatever she needs to get on to be able to participate because she actually specifically asked. Amen. All right. So we're going to get started. Amen. And God bless uh, ICC family um, and our pastor, our senior pastor. Amen. Uh, God bless him as well. Amen. All right. So let's get started. Um, so we want to talk about praying for leaders. Amen. And so so uh, the question, the big question tonight is how and why, 
Amen. How and why should we pray for our leaders? Amen. And so we know that there are leaders everywhere, right? There's leaders in our churches. There are leaders in our schools, um, workplaces. Uh, we, we have leadership in our homes. Amen. Uh, and, and then, of course, in our local state and national government. And so tonight, I'm really talking about the government. But the things that we're talking about really apply to the church as well. It really applies to Christians altogether, how we should entreat our leaders. Amen. And so I want to talk about this because leaders are very important because what? They carry vision. They carry a great responsibility within themselves, amen. And um, myself being a leader, I understand it, but I I uh, I want to study it in the sense of government tonight, amen. Uh, uh, because in government, uh, there's a lot that needs to be done, amen. Uh, even our government, our governmental leaders have vision. They even have to cast vision, right? So that's what we go and we look at to see who, what does this candidate stand for? What does that candidate stand for? And so on and so forth. Um, and not only do they have to cast vision, but they also have to fulfill that vision. Amen. And we also know that we can cast the best vision and it may, may or may not be fulfilled. Amen. And so that's part of where the prayer comes in, amen, is that we want to pray that not only there's a vision that comes from the Lord, amen, but that there's also the fulfillment of the vision, amen. So nevertheless, leaders also lead, they guide, they make tough decisions every day, amen, and they are the ones who are supposed to uphold righteousness and adhere to structure and the system that they've been set up to rule, amen? And so we want to make sure that they are ones that are going to uphold fairness, amen? We want our leaders to be fair. We want them to promote justice, amen? For not only uh, the people that they rule, over, or, or should I say the people that they like or the people that they're affiliated with, but also for all people, amen? Justice for all people, fairness for all people, amen? And, and, and so we know our government, uh, we know our government is what liberty and justice for all, right? Liberty and justice for all. Um, so they are supposed to adhere to that. They are supposed to be the ones that do that for us. Amen. And so they are uh, to judge matters righteously and they are to uphold the laws of the land. Amen. Amen. So therefore, we need to pray for our leaders because they have a very big charge. They have a, a lot of work to do. Amen. And so there's a lot that's uh, incumbent upon them to really make sure that they get right. Amen. But we also know that leaders are people. Amen. And people are uh, what I want to say. Uh, we are just human, <laughs> amen, for lack of a better word. People are people and people are human, amen, and humans make mistakes, amen. Humans don't always do the right things, amen, and so we have to make sure that prayer is there, amen, so that so that we can help uphold them in their position and in their responsibilities, amen. There are lots of temptations, Amen. There's there's lots of people who lobby uh, for different candidates, different presidents, different um, congressmen and women, uh, different ones who are in governmental positions, even down to our mayors, even down to our uh, uh, local governor, gov govern governments, including governors. Uh, so there's a lot a lot, a lot. And so when people come and tug on them, amen, and try to say, oh, no, this is what I want, or oh, no, this is what you should be about, that can really cause a rift in what their uh, stance is, amen? Are you following me? And so this can cause them to become what we would call double-minded, 
Amen. So though you're supposed to uphold this particular thing, but if this person over here has enough money or enough influence, or if this group has enough people, pop, popularity and our population uh, to, to pull them a certain way, then they can easily sway right they can easily go one way or the other amen and it and it, unfortunately they can uh stray from what they originally said they stood for amen and so i want to talk about that a little bit in terms of why prayer is so important amen because we know a double-minded man is what unstable in all his ways, amen? And because of voices and uh, and all these other things, they can be pulled in opposing directions. So they need prayer, amen, to help them bear the burden of authority. So someone who's in authority has a lot on them, amen? They have a lot that they have to think about. They have a lot that they need to decipher through, amen, and, and, and be able to implement their vision in a righteous way, amen, and, and, and we want their purpose for being in office to be upright. OK, we want that to be something that will, again, be purposeful for all people. Amen. Impactful for all people. So God calls us to pray for our leaders. Amen. And because he knows that prayer is what moves our hearts towards him, but it also moves the hearts of men and women that are in leadership. Amen. I hope somebody is agreeing with me tonight. Please make sure you like and share the broadcast. I pray that you're uh, tuning in, uh, inviting other people to listen in, amen, uh, so that you could really hear and see some things that are happening tonight, amen. All right, so, um, so this prayer that I'm talking about, this prayer is really twofold, right? It's, it's not just for the person you're praying for, Amen. But it's also to help your heart. Amen. So that your heart can be changed, so that your heart can be softened and brought under subjection of Christ. So that, so that, so that's what we have to do. Amen. That we have to do that so that we will do the right thing in relation to our leaders. Amen. So prayer helps us as well as helping the people we're praying for. Amen. So I want you to hear me also in, in two different ways tonight. So I'm talking about government, but I'm also talking about God's people being faithful uh, to prayer and to what we should be doing. Amen. In terms of supporting our leaders. Amen. Not only in government, but in the church and workplace and everywhere else. Amen. All right. So, so I know that it's easy to pray for the leaders that you like. <laughs> I know that it's easy to pray for the people who are ruling well, as the Bible says, but the truth of the matter is, even if their ideology is different, even if their methodology is, is different, uh, even if it's questionable, <laughs> amen, uh, the command is for us to pray, amen, and amen. And so what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about some of the scripture that commands us to pray. Amen. God calls for us to pray for leaders. Amen. And so, and there's some scripture that supports that. Okay. And so I want to look at a particular verse um, of scripture and uh, I want to actually show it to you. So let me see if I can share my screen. I want to show you the scripture because I want everyone to know uh, what it is and what it stands for. Amen. Uh, all right. So let me pull this up. All right. So this is our first scripture. And this may be the only one that I show you tonight, but I want you to see this. Amen. Uh, I want you to be able to see what it is that uh, I'm showing you here. 
Amen. Um, so that you can see all that's going on here. All right. So pray for governments. I urge you then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and for those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. That is according to 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 2, okay? So 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 2 is asking us, amen, admonishing us to pray for our leaders, amen? And so I think that it's very important to show this tonight because it is in the Bible, and I, I want you to know that it's coming from the Bible and not from me necessarily. Amen. Uh, so we see this uh, verse and now I'm going to uh, exit out of it. But I want you to remember that. Amen. Tonight. Amen. I want you to remember that verse tonight. Amen. Uh, because it's so important that we are looking to do what the Bible says about praying for our leaders. Amen. And so it says, uh, first of all, then it's asking for all supplication, all prayer, all intercession, and all thanksgiving to be made for all people. So that lets me know that there is different, there are different types of prayers. Amen. Supplications are the ones where you're asking and petitioning for something. Amen. Intercessions are where you are uh, interceding or on behalf of someone else, amen, asking God to bless them, amen. And then also thanksgivings, amen. That's when you pray uh, how thankful and how grateful you are for what you have or what's before you, amen. And so the Bible is saying that we do all of those things uh, for all people. And then what it's trying to say is including kings, amen, who are in high positions, praise the Lord. So you have to remember that at the time of the Bible, someone like the president would be actually the king, amen, who we call the president would have been someone like a king then, right? So it says to do what? To pray for for the king, amen, the one who's in high position and or the highest position, amen. So all of our governmental officials are really that, right? They're in high positions. Um, and it says that we should do this, why? That we <laughs> may lead a peaceful and quiet life, amen. So it's imperative that we do this so that we can live peaceful, Amen. So that we can have peace. Why? Because when we pray, amen, for our leaders, amen, we pray God's will be done. Amen. And we know that God's agenda is one of peace, one of joy, amen, one of fulfillment for our lives. And so if we pray, we pray that whoever's in government, whoever's in control or whoever's in uh, a, a particular high position, that they are ones that will promote just that peace. Amen. And so this, uh, the Bible goes on to say in 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 4, it goes on to say that this is good and it's pleasing in the sight of our God, our Savior. Amen. And he desires that all people be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Amen. That's right, Gloria. Even if their morals are incorrect, we must pray. Because see, the people who make it into position, they are not necessarily saved. They are not necessarily Christians. And I think that that's where we, um, we really get off track. A lot of people say, oh, Republicans are Christians. That's not necessarily true. Amen. Oh, uh, 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 Democrats or, or this or that. That's not necessarily true. Amen. A uh, politician is not necessarily a Christian. Let's please get that correct. 
amen, a politician is not necessarily a Christian. And let me tell you this, someone that may appear or even we know for or for a fact for even uh, this to be true, regardless that you can say you're one thing. Amen. But but the Bible says what we shall know them by what their fruit. <laughs> amen. And let me tell you, your your the fruit is going to follow whomever it is that God has put his hand upon. Amen. But let, but let me tell you this, you know, even though we want to say that that's the case, amen, let's look at, let's look at another scripture, amen, uh, let's look at another scripture in 1 Peter 2 and 17, 1 Peter 2 and 17, it says, honor everyone, <laughs> love the brotherhood, fear God, and honor the emperor. Amen. Or in other words, the government, the one that's in uh, in a high position. Amen. In a governmental role. Amen. Honor. OK, when you honor, you will have respect. Amen. When you honor, you will do right towards them. Amen. It didn't say agree with every leader that's in position. <laughs> Amen. It said honor. Amen. Why? Just like when the Bible, think about it, when the Bible says, honor your father and your mother, that your days will be long. When you honor, there's a reward for you. See, we don't do it because we think, oh, if I honor them, then I'm giving them something. No, you're giving them honor, but in return, listen, God is the God of investment. He, he gives dividends upon return, uh, return upon uh, 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 return on investment. Okay. ROI, if I can get it out of my mouth. Uh, amen. Return on investment. And the return on the investment that we make is that long life. Amen. So in this case, it says, honor everyone, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the emperor, First Peter 2 and 17. So there is a reward in doing that. Amen. All right, let's look at another scripture. I want to give you scripture tonight because I want you to understand uh, what we're talking about. Amen. Let's look at Jeremiah 29 and 7. Jeremiah 29 and 7. And I don't know if anyone's able to type, but if you can type these scriptures in the chat for me, that would be great. The comments for me, that would be great. That way other people can go back and look at them later. Amen. And so Jeremiah 29 and 7, it says, but seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For, its, for in its welfare, you will find your welfare. Oh, Lord have mercy. Is that what it said? It said in its welfare, the welfare of the city, when the city is well, then you will find yourself to be well. Amen. Think about it. If you live in a house and if that house is doing fine and if it's doing well, then you're fine. You're doing well, right? But if the house is on fire, guess what? You're in turmoil. You in trouble. You got to get out of there. OK, so it's saying if you live in a particular city, OK, usually mayors uh, govern a city. Right. Uh, or you could have uh, city councilmen. You could have other legislative figures governing that city. Amen. Uh, if the welfare, the Bible says, Jeremiah 29, 7, it says if the welfare of that city is doing well, then you will do well. It says, seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you and pray to the Lord on the city's behalf. Amen. That's what we must do. Pray to the Lord for the city. If you are in a church and you want that church to be well, if you're a part of that church, pray for the church. And it's if it's well, then you will be well. Does that make sense? Amen. If you are uh, praying you need to pray for the things that you're a part of, praise the Lord, that it will be well. When it's well, then you're well. When it's in turmoil, you're, you're in turmoil, right? Amen? So we have to pray that, that there'll be welfare. 
Amen. And I'm not talking about the welfare system. Come on, let's listen in the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right. And so now uh, we want to make sure that we understand that there are some things that we need to do and, and there are some ways that we need to pray. Maybe we maybe we know this. Maybe we don't know this. Amen. That we should be praying for the leaders of our country. Amen. We should be praying for the leaders who are have their uh, positioning to oversee us. Amen. Like I said, no matter government, church, on our jobs, we need to pray for them because if they govern according to God's law, then we will benefit under God's law. Amen. We need to be praying that the governmental laws and legislation that's made will be made according to God's will. Amen. It does. I, listen, some people are so stuck in whether it's Republican or Democrat. Listen, don't get stuck in that. Get stuck in the fact that God can rule and he can overturn and shift regardless of who's in office. Amen. It doesn't matter that that those words mean something to to the people of the land. It means nothing to God. Amen. He allowed us to name it whatever we want to name it. Amen. But the truth of the matter is he expects the ruler of the land to rule according to his word. Amen. And listen, I'm, I'm going to show you something else tonight. Amen. Uh, that it's our responsibility. He's looking at us. Right. Because even if we just look at uh, uh, Second Chronicles, it says, if my people and I know we're so tired of hearing this verse. I know we've heard it all pandemic long. Right. <laughs> I know. But he said, if my people would pray, <laughs> if you call yourself by the name of the Lord, then we need to be praying for what's happening in our nation, in our country, in the world, amen, at large, praise the Lord. And I'm, I'm saying this tonight because it's coming by revelation to me as well and really an admonishment from God that, listen, have we been praying? Have we been asking God to govern our lives, to govern our government? Amen. Do we not think that he can do that? It, does Jeremiah, I think it's 32, says, listen, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Amen. Can he not do this? He can do this. He can cause the, listen, the Bible says what? He turns the king's heart in any direction. Amen. That he chooses. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter if he's Republican. It doesn't matter if he's Democrat. It, it, he has the king's heart, the president's heart, the governor's heart, the mayor's heart. Amen. Come on here. Are you listening? Your boss's heart. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It does not matter. The title does not matter. The party does not matter. Are you hearing me? Amen. Come on, beloved. We've got to overcome the anxiety of the situation. We've caused ourselves to be have so much angst because it's this name or it's that name. So what? <laughs> the Bible says what? Be anxious for nothing. Hallelujah. But by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Make your request known unto God. Amen. And the God, hallelujah, of, of all, uh, uh, I, uh, forgive me, I'm forgetting the end of it, but I know he says that he will bring peace, amen, and understanding to the whole situation, paraphrasing, amen, amen. If you have that verse, put it in, put it in the comments for us so we can read it. Amen. Uh, but that's what God just said. Be, oh God, be anxious for nothing. Amen. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, come on, 
Maybe that's what we've been missing. We haven't been thankful. Thank you, Lord, that this that this country is governed by you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that we have food and clothing and shelter. Hallelujah. Those who don't have it, Father, provide it for them, God. Bless the homeless, Lord. Bless those who are out of their houses, God. Bless those who have lost their finances. Hallelujah. As a result of COVID, Lord, bless those who have COVID right now now, God. In the name of Jesus, bless them, Lord, that they will recover. Hallelujah, that the sickness shall not be as unto death. God bless all of those who have lost family members. 400,000 people in the United States. 755,000 people in the world. Bless their families. Bless those who are bereaved because of this pandemic. Father, I pray, oh God, When are we going to pray? Hallelujah for the things that are happening. Oh, my God. When are we going to pray? Amen. Or are we going to just complain? This is not even on my notes. Uh, Are we going to just complain? Amen. What, what, What does complaining accomplish other than you were leaving and venting yourself? But does it change? Ah. Oh, God, the situation. No, it does not. Hallelujah. Only prayer. The Bible says pray for them. (laughs) Are you hearing me? Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Do you not know? Do you not know who holds the future? Do you not know who holds tomorrow? Mano also. Yay, God. God is in control. God is in control. I said, God. <laughs> He's never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. Do you hear me? Oh my God. I wish I could read. I want to read <laughs> through the through the through the through the screen. Lord have mercy. Oh God, we have to pray. That whoever takes office, I don't care who they are. Amen. If you're a Trump supporter, then I hope you were praying for him. If you if you're a Biden supporter, I hope that you will pray for him. The bottom line is let's pray. We got to pray for who's in office. Ooh, we got to pray for who's in office. It doesn't matter who you're for. It doesn't matter who you're against. If you're a Christian. You must pray. Pray that this world will come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Pray that those who have yet to accept Christ will accept Christ. Pray that the president's life will be saved. Bless Donald Trump. Bless him where he is. In Florida, I think they went to. Bless him where he is. His heart is broken. Bless him. Bless Biden, Father. Bless him as he transitions in. Bless him. Hallelujah. Let the transition be smooth. Let it go like you want it to go, God. Hallelujah. Are y'all praying with me? Are are you praying with me or are you just watching me? (laughs) Amen. Are you praying with me? Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are we applying the word of the Lord or are we just hearing it? Amen. Let's be do. Oh, God, let's be doers tonight. Amen. Let's be doers. And like I said, this is coming to me first. God is saying to me, are you praying? (laughs) Pray, pray for what you need. Pray for what we need as a country. As a country, what do we need? We need justice. Hey, we need fairness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We need equality for all people. Glory to God. Are you praying? I can't even get to my notes. Lord have mercy. Pray. We got to (laughs) pray. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me try to find where I am. (laughs) Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. So yes, there are going to be many challenges ooh, God, uh, uh, ahead of us. And the church, the church must be unified. Amen. 
Amen. We must be unified. The United States of America, the United States, not the divided states. The United States of America. I don't think our ancestors made a mistake when they said that, because what the Bible says, oh, how good and pleasant it is, hey, God, for brethren to dwell together, what, in unity, ha, huh? glory to God, are you hearing me tonight, glory to God, we're supposed to dwell together in what, in unity, even if everybody else is divided, the church, oh, my God, the church it's supposed to be united. Are you hearing me? Oh my God. Yay. God, you know, both of the ball. Yeah. Glory to God. Unity, unity, unity is what God is calling for. Hallelujah. Are we so distraught? Are we so destroyed? Do we not understand? Do we not have good understanding? Have you not seen? Have you not heard? Hallelujah. Do you not get it? The Bible says what? Think it not strange. <laughs> Amen. There's all kinds of things that are going to happen. Matthew tells us about what's going to happen. Amen. We know that these things are just beginning. Amen. Amen. But he, it, it, God admonishes us to pray. Pray that there will be change. Pray that there will be a difference. Pray that Martin Luther King's dream will become reality. Did we not just celebrate him? Did we forget? Because it's a couple of days later. Amen. Did we forget? We want the dream to stay alive. Amen. So we've got to put in <laughs> to get return on investment, ROI. Amen. We've got to put something in, oh God, in to get something out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, I know I'm coming a little different tonight, but it's the power of God as oh unto salvation. We got to be saved in what we're supposed to be doing. It's our salvation at stake tonight. Do you hear what I'm saying? We can keep going. We can keep on complaining. We can keep on being frustrated, or we can get in the will of the Father. And he said what? <laughs> Pray. Pray, our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Where? On earth. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Oh, God, the world and all they that dwell therein. Do you hear me? Do you hear me tonight? Glory to God. Glory to God. I hear the Holy Ghost. So the earth belongs to the Lord. <laughs> Did you think he lost control? <laughs> no, he has not. <laughs> God, let's look at this scripture right here. This scripture that says, listen, ha! Whew, Romans 13. I'm trying to stay. Oh, no Romans 13, one through two, it says, let everyone, <laughs> glory to God, let everyone be subject to governing authorities, everyone, for there is no authority except that which God has established. I'm going to just sit that right there. My also. Let everyone be subject to governing authorities. Amen. For there is no authority except that which God has established. Yay. And do you not know that the Lord can set up and the Lord can take down? Do you not know that he can use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise? Everybody was uh, wondering, oh, how did Trump get in there? He's not even a politician. Could it have been God? How did Biden get in there? 
He's not this, that, or the other. Could it be God? Is that what the scripture is saying? Did you not know that God has more purposes than what our little infant, uh, finite minds can think of? Hallelujah. Does the Bible not say that my ways are not your ways? <laughs> hey, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Hallelujah. My ways are what? Higher than your ways. He said what? Though your sins be as scarlet, come. Let us reason together. We need to reason together with God so we understand what he's doing. Are you a son of Is Issachar tonight? Do you know the time and the season so that Israel might know what to do? Do you hear what I'm saying? We got to get in tune with God. We need synchronization, hallelujah, with the spirit so that we understand, no, I set up. Ha! I take down. He said in the high place, what? I will bring down. So if you think that what's about to come is not going to work, guess what? You don't know what God is going to do. He might just need somebody in there that he can what? Shift the heart of the king. See, some people, some kings get put in place and maybe some kings should be there. Amen. Whether we think so or not. But do you not remember Saul? Saul was the king, but Saul did not do what God said. And so he took him down. The Bible clearly says, I believe it's in first, first Chronicles. No, where would that be? That would be in, hmm. I'm going to find it. But he said that he took Saul down. Why? Because he did not listen to what he was told to do. And the Bible says what? He was not loyal. And he told Samuel, he told Samuel, take him down because he did not follow me. Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm going to find it because I don't want to lie. First Samuel 15. 1 Samuel 15, verse 10 says, Then the Lord said to Samuel, I am sorry that I ever made Saul king. Why? For he has not been loyal to me and has refused to obey my commands. So maybe somebody was supposed to be there. Maybe now they're not. Maybe something changed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord can bring up and he can tear down. But he also said, look, uh, 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 humble yourself so that you can what? Be exalted in due season, amen? So we have to remain humble. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked way. We have to constantly be changing from, oh God, our wicked way, Lord, Bless us, God. Hallelujah. To turn from our wicked ways, oh God. Hallelujah. Help our lives to be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, oh God. Help us not to be conformed to this world, but transformed by what the renewing of our mind. Renew my mind, Lord, so that whatever the enemy tries to bring my way doesn't cause me to veer off of the righteous path that you have set me on. If I'm a leader, hallelujah, I need to say, Lord, be a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, hallelujah, so that I don't get off the path that you put me on and you reject me as a leader. Oh, so my, 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 God almighty, are you hearing me? Saints, we've got to pray for government. We've got to pray for our leaders. Leaders in the church, leaders in our homes, leaders on our jobs. We got to pray. Pray that they don't veer off. Amen. Pray that they don't get tugged on and pulled in different directions. It's so many, so many uh, groups, <laughs> I'll say, amen, that come to pull on the leader. Amen. But a leader has to be strong. We have to pray that the leader is strong. And the Bible says, listen, my grace is sufficient enough for you. Amen. When you are weak, then what? He is strong. So we got to pray that he is strong for us. Amen. Because we are weak. 
But the Bible says, listen, God will help us in our infirmities. Amen. Our inadequacies. Oh, dobo so. Our idiosyncrasies. <laughs> Amen. God can help us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I pray that we will do what we're supposed to do. Because guess what? Our leaders, the Bible says in Psalm 2, 10 through 12, it says, therefore, you kings be wise. So he has requirements for leaders as well. Don't think that it's just us. Amen. He said, therefore, you kings, be wise, but be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and, and celebrate his rule with trembling. Amen. Ah, we got to pray, oh God, that, that our leaders will be wise, that they will judge righteously. Amen. That they will have dis uh, discernment and be able to decipher good from evil. Amen. We got to pray, hallelujah, that, that, that they will have the fear of the Lord. With fear and trembling will they serve. Hallelujah. We got to pray. I hope y'all are hearing me tonight. Amen. I'm not, I don't know if I'm getting likes, shares, anything. I don't, I don't care about it either. But listen, I pray that we are in agreement tonight. Oh God, that things that we should do, we will do. Amen. And number one is pray. Pray for the government. Amen. Pray that things will go as they should. Pray that this transition, see, there's, there's a big transition that's taking place. And we have to understand when power shifts, <laughs> not only in the government, but also in the church, but when power shifts, amen, we got to pray for the right agenda. Amen. To go forth. We got to pray that there'll be no selfish motives, <laughs> that there'll be no undercover operations. <laughs> we got to pray that things will be on the up and up. Do you hear what I'm saying? We got to pray that there'll be no confusion for the Bible says that, uh, that, that there's no confusion except for that which is caused by the devil. Amen. He is the father of lies. <laughs> And so uh, he comes to interject confusion. You'll see, uh, you'll see one thing and you'll see a replication of the same thing. What is the right thing? What is the true thing? Amen. You got to study the right thing so that you can see the counterfeit when it comes. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Just said a lot right there. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. So we have to be consistent because a lot of our leaders who are in government may or may not be. Amen. They may or may not be consistent. They may or may not always be what they should be. Amen. But we have to pray that their consciences are not seared with the hard arm. We got to pray that they are not lovers of themselves more than the lovers of God. We got to pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. T to loose the bands of wickedness. Amen. On the earth, Lord, uh, and, 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 and set the captive free. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We've got to do that which is right. Amen. And it's righteousness. Amen. For us to pray for our leaders. We, as Romans 13 said, we are subject to the governing authorities. We don't overrule them. We don't rebel against them. Verse two, let's look at it again. Romans 13, one through two. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. And I want to even say he established, but he also allows. But guess what? The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3 that all things uh, are, are, are for uh, his purpose. Amen. There is a purpose under heaven for that which he has established. Amen. So we might not understand, but the Bible also says what in Proverbs 3, it says, lean not to your own understanding. <laughs> okay. 
So we don't know why this person or that person is in leadership or where they are. But don't you know God can use it? Does the Bible not say that all things work together for our good to those that love the Lord and are of the cause according to his purpose? Amen. So if I love the Lord and I am the cause according to God's purpose, then it doesn't matter who's in leadership. It's all going to work out for my good. <laughs> it's all going to work out for my good. Are you hearing me? <laughs> I love it. Come on, beloved. Lift up your heads, O oh, ye gates. <laughs> And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, so that the king of glory shall come in. <laughs> Who is this king of glory? <laughs> the Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, oh, mighty in, ah, mighty in battle. He said, you have no need <laughs> to fight <laughs> in this battle. You have no need. Somebody is hearing me in the Holy Ghost. Somebody don't understand nothing I'm saying. <laughs> but somebody, oh, sure, my malleable soul, understands. For it, to a carnal mind, these things are foolish. <laughs> but to the one that's spiritual, hear me tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. My soul, he die, yo, do so. Yes, God, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's look at First Peter three. Mm. Let's look at First Peter three. Oh, I'm sorry, First Peter two. Pardon me, First Peter two. I can't even see straight. Thirteen through seventeen. First Peter two, thirteen through seventeen. Let's look at that and. I might be done. <laughs> it says, submit yourselves to the Lord for the Lord's sake to every human authority, rather to the emperor as a supreme authority or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. For it is the will, it is God's will that you do so by doing good. And by doing this, you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. <laughs> it's in the word of God. NIV version. 1 Peter 2, 13 through 17, NIV. Live as free people. Land of the free, home of the brave. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover up for evil. Read the word. Live as servants of God. <laughs> Show proper respect, verse 17. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God and honor the emperor or the king, the governor, the mayor, the boss, the principal, the church leader, the pastor. <laughs> the bishop, the apostle, honor them, honor them, amen, honor them, hallelujah. So tonight, <clears throat> I just came to tell you that there's great contentment when we pray, amen, we gain the contempt, there's benefits, God, God loads us up daily with benefits, there's benefits to praying, for our leaders, regardless of whether we agree with them or not, we benefit, amen, because we're commanded to do so. We're commanded to submit. We're commanded to, to submit to God's doing, amen, amen. Contentment comes when we know we're doing what's right in the Lord, amen. Peace comes, amen. He said, peace I give unto you, amen. So we have peace when we pray, amen. We have peace, enough to be peacemakers in a situation such as this, amen. We get victory 
because through our prayers, we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. We are victorious through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And we gain gratitude because when God works things out, we're more than grateful. And not only that, we establish a testimony. You know, I had this situation and I prayed and God helped me. Like the Bible says, I cried unto the Lord. He heard my cry <laughs> and he delivered me from all of my trouble. Hallelujah. So we begin to have a testimony as a result of our prayers when we see what God is doing and what he has done. We're grateful. We're thankful for what he has done. I, I challenge you tonight that you would begin to just pray a prayer of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Listen, the position of power is God ordained. OK. We have a responsibility to pray for our leaders. So I want to pray tonight. I'm going to close now. Amen. I want to pray tonight because I don't want to go over into another hour. <laughs> Amen. And so I'm going to pray tonight. Amen. And I pray that you pray with me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, thank you for your comments. I'm seeing a few of them now. Thank you uh, for your comments. Um, thank you for your attentive to, uh, attentiveness tonight. Uh, you could be doing so many other things, and I'm going to let you go so that you can attend to other inaugural things or uh, getting ready from spending time doing that all, all night, all day, uh, earlier today. But let's pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray, oh, Father, right now, God, hallelujah, Lord, that you will bless your people, oh, God, that you will touch us, Father, by the power of your spirit, oh, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Touch, oh, God, that we will be one nation, oh, my God, under God, indivisible, Oh, my God, with liberty and justice for all. Hallelujah. I pray, oh, God, that we are the land of the free. Hallelujah. I pray that in this transition and in this shift, Father, that we will begin to understand what you're doing in this season, oh God. I pray, Lord God, that those that are in agreement, hallelujah, will, uh, hallelujah, continue to pray and uplift the incoming president and vice president and cabinet, hallelujah, governmental, uh, uh, those who will be set up in government, those who will be coming on uh, new. Father, I pray, God, that you will bless them, that you will cover them with your blood, that no hurt harm or danger will come nigh their dwelling. Father, bless even the governmental uh, areas, the buildings. Father, hallelujah, all of D.C., oh God, be covered by the blood of Jesus. Let there be no more insurrection, no more uh, 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 ability for anyone to uh, raise up against government, to raise up against, hallelujah, the established rule. Father, we pray against it now, God. Hallelujah, Lord, that you will bind these things up, God, that we will submit to authority, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will honor those who are in uh, position, Lord, uh, for you have allowed it, God, for your reasoning and for your purpose, oh, Father. Forgive us for judging what's happening, oh, God, but help us to get in tune with you, Lord, that we will gain understanding and that we will follow you, God, hallelujah, as you serve your purpose, Father. We surrender to you, oh, God. I pray, Lord, that those who are not in agreement Hallelujah. With what has just taken place, I pray for peace in their hearts. God, I pray for a settlement of their minds. Father, I pray that you would lift this strong delusion, Father, that has uh, crept in unaware. Hallelujah. God, I pray that you break it off. Hallelujah. Of the minds, God, let this mind be in you that's even in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. God, ha help the mind, Lord. Bless the minds of 
of your people, oh God. Those who have been unsteady and in unrest, oh God, send rest to them, Father. Hallelujah. Uh, bind up that spirit of anxiety, God, even depression, Father. Hallelujah, God, as a result of the things that have been taking place, Father. I pray, oh God, that you speak, hallelujah, into their spirit, that they will have life. Oh, God, and that more abundantly, Father. Oh, God, I pray, Lord, that not only there be peace in our hearts, but peace on our land. God, hallelujah, you said for us to do these things. And when you hear from heaven, then you will heal our land. I pray that you heal our land, Father. Hallelujah. Even as we turn from our wicked ways, heal our land, God. Those things that we have set up in the system, Father, that goes against your will. God, I pray that you will begin to turn those laws. You can legislate, Father. You can regulate, God. You can turn, hallelujah, things around where it will be, hallelujah, according to your will. God, I also pray, Lord, for restoration for your people. Restoration for this land. Hallelujah, God. Where there's been disruption, Father, bring it back together. Every breach. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Repair the breach, Father. Hallelujah, God. I pray for restoration for your people, those who have lost loved ones, those who have lost uh, 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 finances, those who have lost positions, God, as a result of this pandemic and other uh, things that have taken place through government. God, I pray that you will restore. God, restore those things that the canker worm and the caterpillar and the locusts have eaten up. God, even restore some 30, some 60, some a hundredfold to your people. Thank you for those who have had a heart to give, even in a low season. Uh, God, even in a season of lack, yet, Lord, you have not caused us to be ones in poverty. Hallelujah. God, I pray, Lord, that we will continue to be lenders and not borrowers. Father, I pray that we will be head and not the tail, that we will be above and not beneath. Oh, God, I pray, Father, that there will be food in the cupboard. Father, I I pray that there will be shelter for all people, oh God. Bless those who don't have it, Father. Hallelujah. Do, oh God, a mighty work, oh Father. Hallelujah. In the land, oh God, that those who are lacking, Father, will recover all, oh God, and even will recover above and beyond, Father, for you are an exceedingly abundantly above God. Hallelujah. That can do anything, oh God. You can restore. You can give back, Father, those things which have been stolen, Father. You said in your word that even those things that the devil tries to take, oh, no more, Siana, Masaya, that he will yet hush, oh, have to give it back yet some seven times. So I pray, Nando will say seven more times to your people, not double, oh, so, not double, oh, sigh, hallelujah, but seven times, God, hallelujah. Though the enemy comes in one way, he will yet have to flee seven ways. Uh, you know, you know my side, where the enemy has come in to even try to disrupt systems and setups. Uh, you know, where he has come to try to disrupt structure. God, I pray uh, you know, God, I say, that you would, oh God, restore structure. God, speak to the man of God. Speak to the woman of God. Hallelujah. In these areas, Father, speak to the church. Oh God, Hallelujah, that the church will rise up and support the government, God, that we will pray for the government, oh God. Pray that there is fair treatment, hallelujah, for all people. Pray that there is equity for all people, equality and equity, two different things. I pray that you will establish those things, Father. Hallelujah, even in our schools, even in our schools, even our schools, we rebuke the school to prison pipeline. Hey, shoot, disrupt it, and separate now in the name of Jesus. 
that that purpose will no longer be able to be fulfilled. Oh God, I pray for race relations, for relationships, Father, that we will see little white boys and little black boys walking together, that we will see black girls being able to break glass ceilings, that we will also, hallelujah, that we will see a coming together of every type of people, every kind of people. For you said in your word that this is a house of prayer for what? All people. So I thank you, God, that all people can come together despite opinions, eh? despite the things that disrupt and, and try to cause disunity. But Lord, I speak unity now in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, even for the reputation of the United States to be reestablished all across the world. Those who are looking on us from abroad, let them see us as a mighty continent, a mighty country, one that is ruled well, one that is prosperous, and one that is able to take care of its people. God, I pray, Lord, that there will be a change, a shift. I pray that leadership, hallelujah, will come into play, that there will be leadership, hallelujah, that will rule well, hallelujah, rule well. Hallelujah. The United States will be ruled well. In the name of, I speak and declare that it will be ruled well. In the name of Jesus, we thank you uh, that there will be no Nebuchadnezzars, that there will be no Saul's, that there will be no Samson's, that there will be no, uh, 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 no, 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 no figure configuration of evil that will be able to prevail hallelujah but that you will tear down that which is against you father and that you will continue to erect that which stands for you you said for us to stand and in all that we do to stand therefore and lord i pray you wrap us around with your armor and do within us what's needed that we will not hallelujah stand against government hallelujah, but that we will do what you said, which is to submit to all authority, that it will be well with us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you for the shift. Thank you for the transition, for we don't know why, we don't know what, but we know that you allowed it. And so we trust you, Lord. We trust you. God, we trust you tonight for whatever it is that you're doing. God, I pray that you will uh, uh, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it, God. Do it in the land. Do it in our country. Do it in our churches. Do it, oh God, in our school systems. Do it, oh God, in our homes, Father. Oh, my Lord, oh, 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 see I. Yeah, God. I even shift, oh God, a government in the home. So let it be a, a straightened out <laughs> where you said that uh that that the man is the head of of the woman and Christ is the head of the man and oh my Lord, hallelujah hallelujah and that the church is the bride of Christ order it father order it God put it back in order put it back in order father in the name of Jesus so I thank you I thank you tonight I thank you tonight I thank you Lord for the humbling I thank you God for the correction I thank you God for the for the word of God that comes to show us what to do thank you God we bless you, Lord. We honor you, God. You are an awesome God. You are wonderful, Father. We love you tonight. We glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. You are a mighty God. You are, oh God. Hey. God. Oh, yes, God, you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Above. You are looking at us, so oh God. You see and you know all about us, Father. And so we thank you, Lord God, that you remain to be El Roy. You see all and you know all. Oh, God, and you are moving on our behalf. Yay, God. Continue to move, Lord. 
Continue to move on our behalf, Father. Continue to move on behalf of this country. Continue to move on behalf of your people. For we are your people, the sheep of your pasture. Hallelujah, each one of us, God. <laughs> and we thank you for your love tonight. We thank you for your love tonight. We thank you because you first loved us. Hallelujah, God. If it were not for your love, oh my God, if you had not been on our side, oh my Lord, tell me, oh God, where would we be? God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, we come to you with petition, <laughs> with thanksgiving, with intercessions, and with prayers for all people tonight. God, we love you. We honor you. And we worship you as we leave this uh, broadcast tonight. Bless us. Bless our homes. Get, help us to clear our minds that we'll be ready to go forth in you even this day. Hallelujah. Forgive us, God. Forgive us for sin. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Amen. And lead us not into temptation, <laughs> but deliver us from evil. When we're tempted to talk, help us to study to be quiet. <laughs> when we're tempted to complain, help us to yet be grateful and thankful unto you. God, do it, Lord. Cover the sin, oh God. Hallelujah. We are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us. So cleanse us from all unrighteousness, God. Renew the right spirit within us, oh God. Hallelujah. And give us a clean heart, God. Clean heart for our brother. Clean heart for our sister, oh God. Clean heart for our leaders. <laughs> clean heart for our government. God, we thank you. Lord, we bless you and we praise you. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. All right, saints, I love you. I'm going to stop there before I pray till nine o'clock. Amen, which I probably will do. God, I thank you. Love you with the love of the Lord. I don't want to hold you any longer, but please consider, consider, consider your ways. Amen. That we might be prayerful in this season. Amen. Prayerful. Amen. God bless you. Let the Lord cover us with your blood until we meet again. God bless you. Love you.